हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल डियर स्टूडेंट दिस टॉपिक इज रेजोनेंट कन्वर्टर्स दैट मींस इन दिस सेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग व्हाट आर रेजोनेंट कन्वर्जन देन व्हाट इज द नीड ऑफ रेजोनेंट कन्वर्टर्स एंड व्हाट आर इट्स एडवांटेजेस वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट टू टेक्निक्स दैट इज जीरो क्रॉसिंग जीरो करंट स्विचिंग एंड जीरो वोल्टेज स्विचिंग टेक्निक्स एज द नेम इंडिकेट्स व्हेन एवर करंट क्रॉसेस द जीरो लाइन और वेन एवर वोल्टेज जेड वी एस वोल्टेज क्रॉसेस द जीरो लाइन देन स्विचिंग एक्शन टेक्स प्लेस दिस इज द बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ रेजोनंट कन्वर्टर्स एज द नेम इंडिकेट्स द सर्किट ऑपरेट्स ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ रेजोनंस हियर वी आर यूजिंग वन सर्किट विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ इंडक्टर एंड कैपेसिटर दिस सर्किट इज कॉल्ड टैंक सर्किट और रेजोनंट सर्किट सो डेफिनेशन ऑफ रेजोनंट कन्वर्टर इज इट इज अ स्विचिंग कन्वर्टर विच कंटेन्स एल सी नेटवर्क जैसे मैंने बताया एल सी नेटवर्क इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज अ टैंक नेटवर्क और टैंक सर्किट सो इट इज अ टैंक सर्किट एंड इट इज ट्यून्ड टू रेजोनंट एट अ स्पेसिफिक फ्रिक्वेंसी मीन्स द सर्किट रेजोनेट्स एट अ वन पर्टिकुलर स्पेसिफिक फ्रिक्वेंसी दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ रेजोनंट कन्वर्टर नो वॉट इज द नीड ऑफ रेजोनंस कन्वर्जन इन द अर्लियर वीडियोज वी हैव स्टडीड डिफरेंट पॉवर डिवाइसेस विच परफॉर्म स्विचिंग एक्शंस वॉट वी हैव स्टडीड इन्वर्टर्स देन चॉपर्स एंड सो ऑन सो इन ऑल सच डिवाइसेस इन ऑल सच स्विचिंग डिवाइसेस दे आर यूज टू टर्न ऑन एंड ऑफ द लोड करंट रैपिडली सो दैट मीन्स द करंट एट वेरी हाई डी आई बाई डी टी डी बाई डी टी ऑफ आई इंडिकेट्स रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ करंट सो दीज स्विचिंग डिवाइसेस आर यूज टू टर्न ऑन एंड ऑफ द लोड करंट एट वेरी हाई डी आई बाई डी टी इट इंक्रीजेस द स्विचिंग लॉसेस एज वेल एज इट इंक्रीजेस इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंटरफेरेंस टू द नेबरिंग डिवाइसेस सो टू अवॉइड ऑल दिस थिंग्स जीरो क्रॉसिंग टेक्निक इज यूज जैसे मैंने बताया वेन एवर वोल्टेज और करंट क्रॉसेज जीरो देन द स्विचिंग एक्शन इज परफॉर्म सो जीरो क्रॉसिंग टेक्निक कैन बी यूज विच विल प्रिवेंट दिस डिसएडवांटेज सो दिस इज द नीड ऑफ यूजिंग दिस रेजोनट कन्वर्टर्स नो वॉट आर इट्स एडवांटेजेस द डिजाइनिंग बिकम सिंपल देन इट रिड्यूसेस द स्विचिंग लॉसेज If efficiency is naturally improved, then it reduces electromagnetic interference that we are going to study it in detail. Then it reduces the cooling requirement. We have studied the different cooling methods like natural uh, convection, then forced air cooling, then forced liquid cooling, and vapor phase cooling. All such cooling techniques are uh, reduced. Requirement of such cooling techniques are reduced. Then it eliminates high frequency harmonics and it reduces the power consumption. next part is zcs that is zero current switching as the name indicates whenever current crosses zero line then the switching action takes place so this is the corresponding circuit diagram vs is the applied voltage this is the switch s represents a switch l and c this is inductor and capacitor this acts as a tank circuit or resonant circuit lf and cf this combination of inductor and capacitor lf and cf acts as a filter the value of this inductor lf is kept large enough so that the output current output current is denoted by idc output current remains constant by keeping this value lf to be large enough r is the load connected at the output now we have drawn two waveforms one is is that is the switching current versus time second is voltage across capacitor voltage across this capacitor versus time now there are different modes mode 1 see i have marked the modes four modes are there in this diagram itself this is mode 1 mode 2 mode 3 and mode 4 which indicates off time now mode 1 this is from t0 to t1 that is i am talking about this mode from t0 to t1 initially we are assuming that before closing the switch that means before switching action takes place before we close this switch s we are considering that the idc was flowing through the free willing diode d represents the free willing diode so idc was flowing through free willing diode when switch was not closed when switch was open and vc is equals to vs that means this voltage across capacitor is equals to vs this value this we are considering before closing the switch at t0 at this instant t0 switch s is closed and 
Still, whenever switches is closed, look at this diagram. Between T0 to T1, the current IS, that is the current flowing through the switch, is less than IDC. This is the level of IDC. So, in this part, from T0 to T1, this switch current IS is less than IDC. So, IS is less than IDC. So, this diode still starts conducting because this current IS is less. Now, switch is closed, but this current is less. That means there is a less uh, voltage at this terminal uh, of diode. So, diode D starts conducting. At T is equal to T1. That means at this value, look at this diagram. This is the level of IDC. So, at T is equal to T1, IS becomes equal to IDC. So, IS is equal to IDC. And at that time, since th this voltage uh, becomes at, at this point, IS is equal to IDC, then this diode turns off. This is happened in mode 1 that is between T0 to T1. Now mode 2 that is between T1 to T2. I am talking about this mode T1 to T2. Then in this case IS is maximum at T1 dash. IS is continuously increasing. It becomes maximum at T1 dash and at T1 dash the voltage across capacitor which was uh, reducing becomes 0. So at T1 dash IS becomes achieves peak value that means it becomes maximum and VC voltage across capacitor becomes zero so VC reaches maximum negative value this value re is reached at maximum negative point at T1 double dash so at this point see at T1 dash this IS becomes maximum that is peak value it attains peak value VC becomes zero VC continuously starts reducing at T1 double dash v VC attains the maximum negative value so at T2, IS becomes 0. At uh, T2, at this point, this current IS becomes 0 and it turns, the switch is turned off naturally. Now mode 3, it is between T2 to T3. That means I am talking about this time period T2 to T3. During this time period, the switch is open. So switch S is open, IDC this output current flows through the capacitor, through this capacitor and VC that is voltage across capacitor, this VC increases towards VSC. During this time period T2 to T3, it, this capacitor voltage increases towards VS. So VC increases towards VS, it attains the value VS at time T is equal to T3. So at T3, VC is equal to VS and because of this, this diode D is turned on. This happens between T2 to T3. At T3, as I said, this voltage across capacitor attains the value Vs and free wheeling diode D is turned on. Now, last interval, mode, last mode, mode 4, T3 to T4. That means this mode, T3 to T4. Again, switch S is open and this voltage across capacitor is maintained constant equals to Vs and after that the cycle repeats. So this is the working of zero crossing, zero current switching. Now next part is zero voltage switching that is ZVS. It is similar to the concept of ZCS. What we discussed in the concept of ZCS and zero crossing whenever the current crosses zero. At that time, switching action takes place. On the contrary, this is ZVS. So, whenever voltage crosses zero, switching takes place. This is the corresponding diagram. S is the switch. Vs is the voltage applied at the input side. D1 and D2 are free wheeling diodes. Voltage across capacitor. This capacitor C is connected in parallel with switch. Voltage across capacitor is denoted by Vc. Now, LF and CF acts as a filter circuit very much similar to that of uh, zero current switching. So at the output due to LF and CF at the output you are getting ripple free current. R is the resistance connected at the output. Now we will be talking about two waveforms. One is IL versus time that is current passing through inductor versus time. Second waveform is voltage drop across capacitor VC versus time. So this is the graph of VC versus time. We will be considering different modes mode 1 T0 to T1 that means I am talking about this time period T0 to T1 lekin usse pehle T0 ke pehle kuch conditions consider karna hai hum logon ko so we will consider that before T0 the switch was on ye switch this switch was on before T0 and at T is equal to T0 we are uh, 
चेंजिंग द पोजिशन ऑफ स्विच एंड वी आर कीपिंग इट ऑफ मतलब टी जीरो से पहले स्विच ऑन था टी जीरो पे स्विच ऑफ हो जाएगा सो मोड वन टी जीरो टू टी वन बिफोर टी जीरो द स्विच इज ऑन एट टी इज इक्व टू टी जीरो स्विच इज ऑफ वेन एवर स्विच इज ऑफ वी सी दैट इज वोल्टेज अक्रॉस कैपेसिटर बिकम जीरो बिकॉज इट इज कनेक्टेड इन पैरल विथ स्विच एंड नाउ स्विच इज ऑफ सो वी सी इज जीरो सो ये पॉइंट देखो टी जीरो पे स्विच ऑफ हो गया वी सी बिकम्स जीरो एंड करंट थ्रू इंडक्टर इस इंटरवल में देखो टी जीरो टू टी वन करंट थ्रू इंडक्टर रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट सो द करंट थ्रू इंडक्टर इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो कैपेसिटर सी चार्ज टूवर्ड्स वी अब देखो टी जीरो से टी वन देखो दिस कैपेसिटर दिस इज द ग्राम ऑफ वोल्टेज अक्रॉस कैपेसिटर द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस कैपेसिटर शिफ्ट स्टार्ट इंक्रीजिंग फ्रॉम टी जीरो टू टी वन दैट मीन्स द कैपेसिटर स्टार्ट चार्जिंग टूवर्ड्स वोल्टेज वी सो दिस हैपन्स Uh, in mode one, that is T zero to T one. Mode two, T one to T two. I am talking about this time period, T one to T two. In this case, V C. देखो ये इस part में देखो. T one to T two, V C. This voltage is greater than V D C. ये जो line है dotted line. Uh, this is V D C or V. So from T one to T two, this voltage, that is voltage across capacitor, is greater than V D C, and the current starts de decreasing. so vc is greater than vd vdc during this time interval t1 to t2 so diode d2 starts conducting and il starts reducing this current starts reducing at t t is equal to t2 t2 pe il become zero and this vc becomes vc max so vc is vc max and il is is equal to zero at t is equal to t2 from t2 From T two onwards, the capacitor discharges through this path V S D two L C. Now mode three T two to T three from this part T two to T three. During this mode T two to T three, the voltage across capacitor starts reducing from V C max uh, towards V. And from T two to T three, I L this current through uh, passing through inductor becomes negative so il is negative and this waveform of current is sinusoidal now remaining intervals mode 4 t3 to t4 i am talking about this mode t3 to t4 look at both the diagrams t3 to t4 vc starts reducing voltage across capacitor and at t4 it becomes zero so at t3 vc is equals to v At T three, this value of V C is equal to V, but L that is inductor continues to conduct due to the stored energy, and V C starts reducing. So V C starts reducing from T three to T four, as shown in this diagram. Now mode five that is T four to T five from T four to T five. In this case, V C becomes zero. At T four, V C becomes zero, and T four to T five it remains zero. The this voltage is clamped up to zero because diode D one starts conducting. Mode six T five to T six from this mode T five to T six. During this mode at T five I L is zero. At T five this I L becomes zero. D one is off and I L this inductor current starts increasing and it uh, attains the value I L D C. This corresponding value is I L D C. Then mode seven, last mode T six to T seven. This is the initial condition that switch is on. V C is equal to zero. Initially V C zero, uh, which was the same condition before T zero. So V C zero and I L is equal to I D C. So this is about the circuit diagram and waveforms of zero voltage switching. So dear students, that's it for today's session. So thank you, thanks a lot for watching this video.